Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be all about meal planning. I meal plan for a month, so I wanted to share with you how easy it is to do this for yourself. So hopefully if you will find this video inspirational, helpful, and uh, let me know down in the comments if you like these type of videos because I do um, write a blog as well related to this um, video. I have done this several uh, for since January, but then I kind of stopped in May and June and July, and I wanted to restart it in August. Uh, where I write you out all my meals and then I share recipes for the meals that I have uh, recipes for uh, in the blog post as well so I will have the corresponding blog post linked down below so make sure you check out that blog post and if you need more inspiration there is tons of different meal planning ideas on my blog post so uh, if you are new welcome my name is Sonia and I am beside a YouTube and a blogger I also run a full-time home daycare and I am a mother to two teenagers and my husband is a real estate agent and his uh, schedule is pretty busy so I can not always count on him for helping me out around dinner time so I like to set myself up for a month of meals and then I break it down to weekly and I will just share all that with you what my process of it and and how I do it so the first thing that I do is I look in at on the calendars and see what's happening what what we're doing if there's any special celebrations or if we're going away uh, really anything that might impact the monthly plan then I calculate um, count how many dinners I need to to make so you know there's 31 days in a month but I only, might only need 25 dinners or something like that and then I go in selecting and writing out the number of dinners that I will be making but before I do that I have created our family favorite dinners and I just I keep adding stuff to it and taking stuff away in case if uh, kids don't no longer like it or we're not crazy about it and I also have the same one for breakfast as well and then I go from there and I uh, write out anything that um, I would want to eat that month and then another thing that I do is I go into my deep freezer and I check all the meat uh, that we have and try and create meals based on the meat that we have in the freezer now uh, the way I do that is I I do look on Pinterest and sometimes like through the summer I'll uh, search up summer dinner ideas or uh, sometimes I will uh, type in the meat that I'm looking for so for example um, let's say um, beef recipes and then I just go through and anything that kind of speaks to me I'll check out the recipe look at what the ingredients is and if we need uh, a lot of stuff that I don't have I probably won't um, uh, make it like if the ingredients list is something that's totally not what I use on a regular basis But if the recipe sounds very interesting, I am willing to venture out too. So it just depends what uh, What I'm in the mood for I guess for uh, that month So and then once I Have my little meal planning binder that I created I can link it in the description box and then I write out everything that uh, we are eating so this is the monthly plan that I have created for August and as you can see uh, there are uh, some dinners so this was we had dinner at my mother-in-law's because I'm actually recording this on this day so I had uh, dinner at my mother-in-law's so I knew that she always makes plenty so we will be having leftovers today so I don't have to cook 
and then we are camping so that will be a completely separate menu uh, for that will be my camping menu that I will be creating for that and then this is our anniversary so I know we are going out for dinner and then we will most likely eat out here because we will be coming back from camping and there's just not a lot of time or will to make anything when you're coming just coming back from your trip then we have birthday here a celebration my husband's birthday weekend so i know that i will most likely have leftovers here and that will be a separate menu once we decide what we are making for his birthday or ordering or whatnot and when i make it um, most most of the meals are chicken um, but I do try to include beef and pork as well as seafood my family is not overly crazy about seafood so we don't have a lot of it but uh, I do try to include it once or twice a month in here as well and then the little stars are things that I want to try out that are brand new recipes um, so I just put down stars beside them because uh, like for grilled shrimp, I'm trying out just a different seasoning. Um, these two are completely brand new recipes that I haven't done yet. So I put up a star just so I kind of know. Now, this doesn't, the order of meals doesn't always work out this way. Uh, sometimes I'll have to switch things around if something's taking up too long to takes too long to make and i just realized i made an appointment or something like that or something came up i will switch it around as well so I, uh, also down here i always try and make two different soups per month and i freeze them i will be needing some new chicken broth so i had written down chicken noodle soup because i will be making that from that and then minestrone and then just a couple different bakings that i will be doing for this uh month so that way i know that i need to buy make sure that i have all the supplies for that as well and then let me show you kind of the breakdown of my this is just a different menu so it doesn't apply to that but i also when i write out my weekly menus planner i do uh these um i write out my breakfast my salads and i usually list uh so this this one is obviously from uh, when the kids were going to school the kids aren't going to school right now because it's still summer and but uh, i would write down what they're having for school for lunch what the daycare is having for school for lunch uh, for lunch and then what i'm having for lunch and then i also write down different snacks especially if i'm baking those snacks for daycare and then the dinners are here and what i also started doing which i've noticed in this one i write down the salads that i'm serving for each dinner as well i also have a board that i put down all the list of all the dinners just for my family can see what we're doing what we're having for lunch well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you like these kind of videos. I will be sharing some grocery hauls as well. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.